come to the coast of South Wales to try and see some of the most intimate and poignant remains in the whole of Britain. Out there, beneath the waves, are a few of the most fragile and fleeting traces imaginable of a group of hunters who came here 8,000 years ago. The added challenge out here is that as well as the tides, you've also got to deal with the fact that this fantastic evidence is usually concealed under feet of mud as these banks shift about. So we've got a footprint there. Uh-huh. You can see, just see the big toe, the heel, emerging from the mud. With the side of the foot, the heel prominently marked, the arch of the foot, and then the big toe and the rest of the toes. So rather than being a depression, the, the way they've been preserved is, is gradually filling the print with material. That's so they, it. So they yes. appear almost as a mould of, of the original yes. footprint. Yes. That's one of the best things I've ever seen. I knew about them, but until you see them, it just doesn't seem possible. What have we got here, then? The prints reveal men, women yeah. and children an entire group of nomadic hunter-gatherers. That's not a fossil of that person that day. That is the very day. But what's interesting here, of course, is that these are very obviously part of a trail. Uh -huh. There's another print there, rather poorly preserved so, and one. That would be the big toe there. Yes, that's right. And that's, that's the ball, right. of, the yes. ball of the heel. That's, that's the right foot of the same person, isn't it? These were people who relied utterly on the natural resources of wild plants and the animals that lived alongside them. If you were to be offered the chance to live this life, <laughs> would, you, would you fancy it as an easy life? They were subject to, to the natural hazards of the environment, the bad season, the harsh winter, the, the year when the fish simply didn't turn up. So there would have been times when these communities were under extreme pressure and extreme difficulty. 8,000 years ago, right there. Mm. When you delve into the distant past, you soon realise that what you're discovering again and again are stories of survival, sometimes of evidence, like those faint footprints in the mud. Other times, it's the stories of people defying the odds in a hostile world, a world in which your very existence as a hunter-gatherer depends completely on your understanding of and your connection to the natural environment.